Guys, listen. We're on the internet, and we're doing some Magic 2019 booster drafts, and I'm your host, Troy McClure, and Hunter's in the background chewing away on a little biscuit, on a little rawhide chew. I delivered my LinkedIn a few weeks back, seems pointless. Yeah, sure, it seems pointless, but like... There's no there's no harm in having it, right? That's what I never understand people deleting accounts. Because there's just no harm in having it, right? Like if I have it, I can just leave my LinkedIn up for the next twenty years. And if one job offer comes through, that's a net positive. Whereas as you know, as opposed to if I delete it, I never had that opportunity ever. So like there's no there's no harm in just having the account there, right? Let's start with a Star Crown stag. That's probably better than all four of these guys. I think it's the best card in this pack. I was a big fan, but I was in the laughter ass pod with you. I was trying to draft an artifact deck, and I knew you were taking all the sky. I <laughs> well, the funny thing is about I wasn't even I wasn't even uh, I wasn't even an artifact deck. So I think data leaks. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's an option. That's a possibility. But like, there's always minor. Okay, so look, tell me them. Tell me what they are. I also think that, like, um, the odds of that, like, you're going to get hacked. If I just, literally, while we were waiting, I got an email from Jersey Mike's that says, we believe that your email address and or password may have been obtained by an unauthorized party, not from Jersey Mike's, but from a compromised account you have with another website or online service where you use the same blah, 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 as a result, blah, 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 blah. Like, you're either going to have to delete all your accounts <laughs> or none of them. Like, there's no... I guess minimizing your accounts is fine, but, like, I don't know. At what point is it, like, okay, well, whatever. I don't, you know, I don't. So we got a lot of blue-white cards in this pack. Pegasus Corsair is probably worse than Dwindle. I don't think Supreme Phantom is where we want to be. I think it's probably Dwindle. What are you guys saying with Agro Bolas? What are you guys even talking about? I actually kind of like Lich's Crest and ignoring this Aerial Engineer. Hmm. Hmm. I took the Lich's Caress because the black-white deck often comes together. The blue-white artifact deck rarely comes together for me when we try to force it. We just never get the sky scanners and the other things. However, if we do get sky scanners, we can correctly play them this time. Yeah, you said aggro bolus, and I was like, what are you talking about? I mean, I get it's like a meme, but like, I don't understand. Matt with numbers. I'm a big fan of you. Got him. Did he get him? I don't know. The sad thing is I really want the blue cards in this pack, not the black cards. I'm going to take the skilled animator because maybe this is a thing. I don't know. It's probably bad. All right. You can go over there now, I guess. And back to the black white again. Okay. We're having a good time. I'm gonna take the land. Maybe we're maybe we're Esper artifacts. I don't. I'm not a big cavalry drill master fan. Card's fine, but I don't know. These packs are pretty bad. I'll take Anticipate. Fix uh, Yesterday when I was driving around with my ice cream truck, I was asking kids if they wanted to hear a joke. Most of the time they said yes, and I replied only nine days till school and laughed. <laughs> oh, Matthew Ori, that's it's not okay. You're, this is a late Brawl Bash Ogre. I'm not going to take it. I'm going to take Mighty Leap because I think it's better. 
Oh, uh, I like Gearsmith Guardian. Okay, I guess we're, I guess we're blue white. Maybe we splash. Let's just caress off our one Forsaken Sanctuary. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, yeah, I'll take the isolate because th what what draft would be complete without an isolate at least in my sideboard? Oh, I like a pack beast. Okay, now we need his artifacts. What up, Moonlight? Oh, force pitch force. Congrats, you came back while we literally when we just started the draft. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. Oh, there was a Scholar of Stars in that pack? How did I not see that? That's weird. I don't know. I think I just blacked out. I was probably reading chat or something. That's weird. Apologies for that. He did tell us he was back beforehand? I totally didn't see that either. My god. Where am I today? I did, I did do it for the meme. Of course I did. Oh, look, another Omniscience. Fantastic. Gravedigger is a card I'd splash for. I'm not taking the Omniscience, obviously. Courser is pretty good, especially with Gearsmith. Is Gravedigger splashable? Probably. What was wrong with your MTGO account? Well, I looked in the chat and I didn't see your name. So that's weird. Maybe I just missed it. I want to take the Grave Digger. We already have a Forsaken Sanctuary. If we can get like a Submerged Boneyard, we should be good on black mana for the, for the fixing. We also have a Lich's Caress. Maybe we're not blue. I don't know. Okay, well, I that's that's we're blue. Okay. Now we're blue. This card is busted. Not even close. And they flagged it? That's weird. You should be able to talk to customer service and get it unflagged like almost immediately. That they they're usually really efficient about that. I don't know if that's worth getting a whole new account over. Oh, all right. Symbiont's pretty good. So is maybe we're not white actually. Interesting. I mean, I you guys are well aware of me being unable to pass psychic symbiont when I see it. So here we are. Uh, divination or dwindle or snappy Drake. Time to make the mill deck again. We already actually Matt. We just made the mill deck. Also Matt, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Didn't didn't actually notice it for some reason. Maybe I'm not hearing it. Should be loud enough. I like Boneyard, but I don't think it's better than either of these guys. I'm just going to take the Snapping Drake. Mirror... Uh, I do like Take Vengeance here. Yeah, Take Vengeance is probably the best pick in this pack. Oh, Aviation Pioneer. That's a good one. That's nice. Yeah, I think we're I think we're blue white and we're just splashing the black for these two cards, which we can do pretty easily. Also, if we get a manolith. Oh, knightly valor. That's actually very very good. Psychic corrosion with our patient rebuilding. Are we just making the mill deck back to back? Double mill decks. Ooh. Oh, baby. A 
Amazing. Amazing. Also, this deck looks really good. Rebuilding is ready. And the omniscience came back? What a time to be alive. I almost like Dwarven Priest a little better just because it'll keep us alive. A little better than omniscience, obviously. Pretty sure omniscience is still worth... Absolutely. That's worth a dollar. Revitalize is a thing. That could keep me alive. Oh, actually, Revitalize is good with Psychic Corrosion, right? Ooh, I'm going to take the Revitalize. Uh, take it totally lost. Oh, Shield Mare is great. Better than Pack Beast at this point. It's the old Kiss of Death, boy. It really is. It really is. Well, you think this deck looks good, huh? Well... Have I got a uh, have I got a surprise for you, buddy? It's one of these two. I do like this with with our psychic corrosion. Yeah, I'm gonna take the other revitalize. Wow, this is a lot of sovereigns bites. Yep, that's not the rare you want to see. Essence scatter is good though. I like Gallant Cavalry, and I like Essence Scatter. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to take Essence Scatter here. The rare's alright. Um... Oh, another oh, strangling spores and an aviation. I think it's aviation pioneer. It helps us, it helps us stay alive, and we're only splashing black for two cards right now. So I don't really want to go ham on the splashing. I also like suspicious bookcase if that comes back. But another engineer. Oh, a sleep keeps us alive. That's a thing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be sleeping all day. I'm gonna take out pioneer for now. I hope that sky scanner comes back, but that's never. Yeah, I don't think metamor metamorphic alteration is that good. It's only the best, as good as your best creature. And so, if you like have no creatures, it's a terrible top deck. Uh, if you have a really good creature and no other creatures, it's not great. I think it's fine. Um, I mean, turning your like Knight of the Tusk into Psychic Symbiont is is fine. But then, like, you lose your three seven. Like, uh, you you can target your opponent's creatures and uh, make them the worst version of your creature. Sure. So, I mean, it does do a good, like, Luminous Bond impression. I like Suspicious Bookcase here a lot. Not only is it an artifact, it is a blocker, and that's important. Oh, actually, we took the Aviator out and not the Skilled. Which, actually, <laughs> Skilled Animator actually gets better now that we got the Bookcase and a second Pioneer. You can target two of their creatures? What does that mean? I don't think you can do that. Oh, you mean like put it on their guy and target their guy? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, like I said, it turns it into a, a like a, a basically a luminous bonds. But I mean, like then you can go in a situation where like if their only creature is a colossal dread maw, like if they don't have a bad guy, if they have a three three and a four five, you're just like okay, now you have two three threes. I mean. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, like, I get all the all the applications of the card. I just... Uh, Restoration uh, and Phantasmal... No, Restoration Angel would actually kill Phantasmal Image immediately. Another Aviation Pioneer? My god. I will play all the Aviation Pioneers you give me. Do we need to dwindle more, though? I have 12 creatures. Yeah, we'll take the dwindle. And there's I knew there was going to be a dwindle in the next pack. I was like, watch, there's going to be a second dwindle. I'll play two dwindles. I guess that's fine. A boneyard's good. That's actually fantastic. I don't think we need a switcheroo here. Yeah, that's actually... Oh, millstone? Yeah, I'm down. Look, I see it came back. Dwarven Priest, huh? Wall of Mist. That's actually playable. Ooh. Oh, God. What are we doing now? I don't think Alteration is that good. I think it's good. I don't think... I think you guys are really hyping it up a lot. I mean, we're probably going to play it over one of the Dwindles. I don't think we want Skilled Animator. I don't think we care about that guy. Oh, I mean, I always consider it. It was definitely an option. I mean, we were milling when we had Psychic Corrosion and Patient Rebuilding. I don't... This millstone was just, ice, just, just icing on the cake. Cake icing, if you will. I don't know. I'm not super sold on skilled animator. Like I, the card has always the card has always been pretty medium for me. I mean, we also only have one, two. I think we only have like four artifacts that we can really put it on. Like I'm probably gonna cut the aerial engineer as well. Like these are the only artifacts I really care. Like this guy's always gonna be a five five. So I don't know. Just a, a, a vanilla one three. Like if you don't have one of these four out, is not great. Being able to go bookcase into uh, skilled animator is pretty good, but I don't know. My experience with with skilled animator has been pretty bad. Like it's just a bad top deck, and I also like with patient rebuilding and uh, where is it? Psychic corrosion and millstone. Uh, I don't know if we're actually winning through damage very frequently. Skilled animator continue to guard Smith guard into a five five. You're right. You're right. It's <laughs> fantastic. Like we already need two cuts, and I kind of wanted the alteration in the deck. I don't think revitalize is actually good enough, unfortunately. Which is basically puts the deck where we want it to be, but I would like alteration somewhere in here. I think all of these are good. I think Knight of the Tusk is a solid card to uh, hold down the fort. Oh, it'd become a 7-5, sure. But, I mean, is that really a different than a 5-5? I don't know. I do like Dwarven Priest, especially with Double Aviation Pioneer. I think this is actually fine. Making their biggest guy in 05 is pretty good, though. It's not terrible. All right, we'll put this in here for now. Yeah, so do you, Uranus, exactly what I was thinking.
I have no idea what the cut is here. All these cards are very, very good. It might just be Knight of the Tusk. But 3-7 is really strong when we're trying to, like, mill them out. Yeah, Anticipate doesn't do the trigger for Corrosion, sure, but that doesn't invalidate the card. Uh, we have two black cards. Probably gonna We'll probably play one Swamp here. Go up to five. I think six. This is seven sources of white, eight sources of blue, and three sources of black. And then we get one more, actually. So probably just go nine. Nine, seven, six. Nine, seven, three, rather. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just play 41 here. Really sad to have to take the revitalizes out, but such is life. Uh, what are the virtues of anticipate over the three gain? Like the, the the virtues is that you get to if you don't have psychic corrosion, revitalize draws you one, which is fine. But anticipate actually digs you deeper and helps you find the cards you need. Like being able to go anticipate into like finding a patient rebuilding is very strong. Feels like the virtues of Anticipate should be pretty obvious, right? I'm going to mulligan this hand. I'm probably going to mulligan this hand too. Don't worry, I won't go. Saw that guy who did it to the other day and agree with your perspective on the matter. I'm going to mulligan this hand as well. I don't like it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Keep. <laughs> Please ghost against me when I go to four cards. I have to have the information. Hey, look, we did it. <laughs> oh, God. Sometimes you multi four. I'm just going to counter this guy because, good Lord, we don't have any plans. So, like, we have to stifle the beats somehow. Nice rare, bro. <laughs> exactly, dude. Oh, we're having a good time. Uh, I don't need steak, so... I could not tell you. Uh, Ghost Hagen, you're welcome to uh, check out the list in the stream deck that's on screen right now.
That's a big old defender. I hear people incorrectly uh, don't draw lands in a game that's resource-based where you need lands to play things. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, look, you have six mana. So now you can just deal me six damage. I can't imagine this game is not over. Take vengeance? No. Okay. Well, we did it. All right. Well, I did not have good luck, nor did I have fun. So, uh, unfortunately, my opponent's well wishes were not... Uh, we're, we're, we're in vain, unfortunately. Well, if you're losing to your own demonic pack, you're probably asking for it. That's some demonic pack victim blaming right there. Well, if you don't want to lose to demonic pack, maybe you shouldn't play demonic pack. Oh, you don't want uh, someone ghosting you, maybe you shouldn't have uh, been streaming. Yeah, you're right. I should just stop streaming because I don't want people ghosting me. That's brilliant. I can't even... can't even argue with that. <laughs> it's like the smartest thing I've ever heard. My name is Cuban Pete. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it, I does it is there Aruba Beach? I thought it was Rumba Beat. Look up Cuban Pete lyrics. Yeah, it's the king of the Rumba Beat. Why did you say Aruba Beach? That doesn't even make any sense. I'm like that doesn't even sound correct. I think it's I think it's Rumba. Who said who said Aruba? Didn't wasn't it you though? Oh, it was oh was it uh it was Force Pitch Forge. Force Pitch Force. Force Pitch Force. Get your get your get your Q and Pete together. If you know what I mean. You should. It's pretty obvious. It was it was relevant. It was uh very related to the chat, so. Uh gonna play this. I'm gonna pass. Where are my mill cards? I'm the king of the rumba beat. You know, like you do. Let's see if we hit anything irrelevant. No, but a fine, a fine hit nonetheless. I, I'm not I'm I'm actually tempted to give this bookcase some knightly valor you're not wrong especially now that they pre played bristling boar but then they're just like target creature can't be blocked by creature power 2 and I'm just like I don't that's all I have that's all I have is these creatures I'm still gonna do it and if they want to spend their turn making this guy unblockable that's fine but I like being able to get this guy through without them having a response to it and we're just gonna play this guy next turn so This is one nightly bookcase. Wow, that's rude. It's like we can't even be friends now. Well, isn't that special? I guess we'll take nine damage. I'm the king of the rumba beat. This is one nightly suspicious bonded bookcase. Oh, a little staggerino. Okay, well that's good. We're probably just dead here. That was actually a pretty sizable draw. Now we can go like this. Priest, priest city. 
Gain Quattro. Three, so they just double block here, right? That doesn't seem good. Nothing seems good. Oh, the old suspicious bookcase for you, too. A suspicious bookcase to you, my good friend. Yeah, of course it's a land. Why wouldn't it be? Need some gas? Draw land. Fantastic. So they just make this guy unblockable for a million turns. And then we just die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. Massy. Well, I guess we have time, but I don't feel great about it. Oh, you're just going to do a thing. Here's prodigious growth. You ready? Oh, seven mana. Yep, that's a thing. That is a thing. All right. Well... Yeah, I guess that's a good point. I forgot this guy couldn't block for some reason. Yeah, I don't see how we're beating that, especially when they can make it unblockable. We have answers in the in the deck. We just have to draw them. See, this is a this is a place where anticipate would be great over revitalize because then you can actually look three deeper instead of just one deeper okay <laughs> thank you for nine that now it's a two turn clock instead of a three turn clock just to be clear okie dokie uh no blocks no blocks Can't attack, can't block, can't be blocked. Yeah, fantastic. I had fun. I, I uh, we both, both sides played hard. One side played harder than the other. And uh, I think our deck is good. So, uh, yeah, it's a great way to stay in shape. 2-1 hell continues. What a waste of the first strike. Yeah, you got plus two, plus oh, but... Did you first strike anything? No. I will play first. I will keep this hand. I don't know, maybe my opinion of this deck is strong is just wrong. Maybe I just don't know what a strong deck in this format looks like. So many big fans, so many losses incoming. It's a little wall of mist. Chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom. My name is Cuban Pete. God, first pitch force, I hate you, buddy. Unbelievable. Thanks for getting this song stuck in my head. Are you excited for all the egg salad we are going to make together when you're... I, I don't know. I still have to look at my schedule, buddy.
<laughs> All right. Well, I'll take one. You got it. Hey, you got it, dude. Uh, this would be great if we had our own artifact. I guess this guy's fine, right? This is probably better than alteration. Maybe. Maybe. What an egg salad? You've never had egg salad, Mumra? Man, with 420 in your name, I feel like you'd be all over some egg salad. Lafoe, dude, I want to. I, don't, I just don't know if it's... I'll check. I still have to check my ye old schedule, see if it works. I don't know. I do have some family visiting, so I'm not sure what weeks that takes place. But... I mean, maybe we can dodge that. Yeah, we're definitely attacking here. Actually, maybe I attack and tap their, their pioneer down. I'm like, I don't care about this, dude. Let's block. I dare you. I just did it. There we go. Look at your schedule on one hand, doo-doo in the other. Let me know which one fills up. Well, the doo-doo is going to fill up faster because that's a physical a physical object. You know what I mean? You know, what, what you know about doo-doo? Actually, it was probably this guy, right? This was probably a thousand percent the better play. If we draw an artifact, this guy just gets bigger immediately. Whereas every creature we play on the board makes this guy better later. So there was no comparison here. This is one thousand percent the play. Uh, and I just messed up because I'm sitting here chatting with you guys. I always blame you guys um, for, for, for my mistakes. But, I mean, realistically... Yeah, sure. They call me Cuban Pete. Boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we can turn their stag into a wall, but like, as you can see right now, it doesn't really do anything. Amp, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Five months in a row. Welcome back. Oh, that's interesting. Let's play Corrosion and turn this dude. Actually, I don't think I want to turn it into a wall. I think I'd rather turn it into a 1-2 than an 0-5. One, two, three, four. Yeah, unfortunately, you have six power, though, so I don't really want you to, like... My name is Cuban Pete. This this little flyer is really ru ruining my day here. Oh, that's aggressive. Always yield. Oh, oh, a dwindle and a Hyromancer's cage. Two pieces of removal. Get out of town. I'm gonna play this aerial engineer uh, because I do want to be able to find a, f a, 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 a you know, if we hit an artifact, I want to be able to play it uh, and already have this on board so we can start blocking this thopter. Marky Peach, what's going on? My name is Cuban Feet. I 
I also actually maybe Dwarven Priest needs to die and then we can just actually gain like five more life. That is actually a reasonable course of action here when we got the got the corrosion online. What if it was what if Dwarven Priest gained you life for each creature on board? That'd be that's that's pretty gas, right? Oh, that's pretty good. I guess we just dwindle this thing and <laughs> dwindle that. I mean, the thing is, like, we they have no real other super great, great threats that really break through our board here. They have one, two, three, four, five, six creatures that can attack. We have four creatures that can block, and we can create a pretty profitable situation for ourselves. Uh, probably don't see myself playing any Zendikar flashbacks. Zendikar was a pretty miserable draft format that I did not particularly enjoy. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, actually, that's that's actually not terrible. Like, it makes a couple guys for a turn, but then we just kill it. Presuming they don't have, like, a Mighty Leap. My name is Cuban Beat, King of the Rumba Beat. Two explosive apparatuses? Interesting. Grave digger. Can you dig my grave? Can you make it shallow? Well, now we got a big floater. Big floats. <laughs> They're going to be, uh... Don't make me do it. Don't make me do the meme. I'm tempted to get this guy back, but I really just want to gain the life. I think the life is going to be better for us. I don't think one random gravedigger on the board is going to be better than uh, being able to get this Dwarven Priest back and gaining like six life at some point. I mean, if they have like Inspired Charge in hand, we're basically dead. Which sucks. Once they turn all the dudes sideways, you know. You know it's happening. Alright, so let's presume that you have like some kind of Let's presume that you have make it. If you had make a stand, you would just alpha. Or at least attack with the vigilant guys. Okay. Oh, wow, that's great, though. So we just get the... That's actually... F fine? We just get to play this guy and gain more life? Alright. Divination and skilled animator into the graveyard. Wow, that was exactly what we wanted to do. I wanted to gain the, the life anyway. That was a great trade. I ain't saying he's a grave digger, but he ain't messing with no ETB trigger. What? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, I top decked inspiration. Well, that's how we died. There's no way it's not inspiration, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This guy dies. 
This dies, this lives, these two trade. Oh my god, it wasn't inspiration? Interesting. Okay, well. Live to fight another day, I guess. Dwindle. What can we dwindle? I think we just want a gravedigger out at this point. I don't see us attacking. I don't think attacking is going to get us through. I just hope they don't. If they don't have inspiration, I think we're in good shape. If they don't have sleep, I think we're in good shape. We're really trying to dodge inspiration and sleep, I think. Inspired charge, rather. I don't know what I'm... You guys know what I'm saying. You guys knew what I meant when I said inspiration. Quit playing. Oh, God. They drew it. Oh, God. Every turn I'm going to be like, they drew it. They have it now. Or they're just trying to kill me before time runs out. Time is running out. Actually, let's get this, this Starcrown stag off the board. You ain't real. All right. Okay, don't have again. Thank goodness. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Inspiration draws them two here. Could be good for us. Trusty Pack Beast getting back an apparatus. Okay, well... All right. Yep. They have 11 cards. We're getting... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We need a really... like a, a land would be great here, because then we actually get to play two things. But until then, I guess we're just one, two, three, four, five. I guess we're taking another one this turn. Yikes. Wow, they're going to use that immediately. What did they hit? <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Good times. Good times. Woo. Don't hit our sleep. Aviation Pioneer would have been good because then we can play Dwindle and Aviation Pioneer. Name is Cuban Pete. Snapperino. And we'll just play a dwindle on this guy, I guess. All right. So we're trying to like minimize if they one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're dead if they hit sleep. Like that's just that's just how it is. So we just have to hope it's not like the next one or the next one after that. Yeah, fucking amazing. <sighs> 21 cards in our deck. Let's see what they could have hit. Take Vengeance. A lot of lands here. Anticipate. Another Essence Scatter. Oh, I guess that one on the bottom, actually. Yeah. So, 33% chance, I guess. Yeah. That's great. That's dumb. 
That's really dumb. Can we 3 -oh? No, of course not. <laughs> no, of course we didn't. We had uh, two very good games where we crushed, and then we didn't draw our lands in the third game. So, third match, rather. Um, Uncomfortable Chill is reasonable against their deck, because all their guys are real tiny. I actually don't care about Star Crown Stag. I don't think we're trying to attack to win. I mean, their odds of hitting sleep. We had four, apparently, four spells from the beginning, right? We had Essence Scatter, Sleep. Anticipate and one other. Take vengeance, right? So the first the first chance to hit sleep was twenty five percent. Second chance to hit sleep uh, was thirty three percent, and their third chance to hit sleep was fifty percent. I don't think any of those are particularly unfavored for us. We're advantaged in the first two situations. And then after that, it's just a coin flip. So. Only they aren't big fans and they make fun of my MTG name. Fantastic. Land. Cool. Okay. Land into land would be good. Hey, Excel, what's going on, buddy? Oh, how nice. Well, now I just get to kill that, which is pretty cool. No blocks. All right, well, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer, take my hand, make it up where. Yep. Land. So three, four, five. Doesn't. If we hit a land, we can actually go Dwarven Priest into both of these. Negate either one of these two, probably this guy. Gain a little life here. Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Yep, that's pretty good. And they... And of course there's no land. Why would there be? Oh, we get to do one thing. So we put in the gate on this guy. We take five make you a wall. I really don't actually want to make you this. Oh, the preemptive good game. Oh, that was from last game. I was like, wow, that's that's a dick move, but no, that's fine. All right. Cool. Let's play the last round just because why the hell not? 
<laughs> Shane Thompson's got bumped back up to full time and got married on the fourteenth. Uh not not nearly as exciting as yours, buddy. Congrats. Oh, this is already match three, if that's what you mean. But yes, yes, it is. Probably gonna need to detiltify after this because this has been these have been some pretty miserable matches. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. O two, O two. We have not won a game yet. This is fantastic. Maybe this deck is just terrible. I guess this is like the worst deck in our in our stable of decks that we've drafted. This is the kid of death draft. Deck looks good. Big fan alert. Keep it beat high, Jinx. <laughs> oh, it's got the trifecta. You can't... You can't lose. Mulligan. Sure. I'm gonna put you on top. I'm gonna mill this dude out for sure. I don't even care. Just let your do go? He'll make you happy. What does that even mean, Brandon? Do you, do you mean doggo? I assume you mean doggo. Not, I don't know what a do go is. I go, you go, everyone goes for do goes. There you go. Hey, man, just let that do go. <laughs> It'll make you happy. <laughs> okay, well, that's the thing. the hell's a spore mound I guess it's a fungus it's whenever a lantern is battlefield get a big one that's actually really good what is that from that's a 5-5 five five, though that's not or it's a 5 mana guy that's not very good hmm fantastic oh two and we get to play against third turn scissors sword of Valoron Sometimes you play the third round and you're like, I'm going to one D tilt to five buck. Well, that's helpful. That helps. I like sometimes you're like, I'm going to play the third round because I, maybe I can't lose because it's, it's O2s. I assume I'm in the O2 bracket. And, um, you know, it'll make you feel better. And then you get to play against Sigil Sword of Val. Oh, they didn't even equip it. Oh, you're just going to put on that guy next turn. That makes more sense. I'm a bigger fan of that. I respect your decision to do that. <laughs> At some point, my luck had to turn around being almost five months without power. Yeah, you're no, you're hundred percent right. You deserve all the good fortune you get, Excel. No, no argument here, buddy. They didn't. In what world do you play this instead of this? Huh. I guess because they... Well, it's turn five, so like... And they play the land. I'm confused. It wasn't like they needed to hit a land drop that turn. I see. Alright, so... Do you have a land now? Alright. I still don't know how that's better than just attacking for five and making a knight every single turn. I mean, like, obviously we block the knight, but... It's still five damage in the air. Which is... A real thing. Okay. Well, that's lands. Must be lands, as the kids say. Uh, no one says must be lands, Frank. I guess that's fair.
Hey, they did it. I will block with Cuban Pete. He is the king of the rumba beat. Gonna play all these lands. Going to go to six right now. I don't think we can win even though we're milling you a lot. I need a floating guy. Or a way to stop your floating guy. Chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well then. Isn't that cute? Just fantastic. I'm having a good time. If you played another creature, I could counter it. Unfortunately, you played a, an enchantment, a, an oaken form. I can't do anything about oaken form, buddy. It's going to be patient rebuilding. You ready? Oh. Oh, that would have been great before the Oaken form. I guess we get to survive a turn at least. One more turn. This is where I play Palaka Worm with two green. Double green Palaka Worm. No, I ain't about that life. Well, I have a cancel it ad, so I will cancel your counter spell and then my creature will resolve. I, if you just say hello, I usually don't respond just because I'm like, I don't really have much to say to that. I just say hello back and then it just feels awkward because we're just like two robots saying just the word hello. And I'm just like, it feels awkward to me. I know that doesn't, that's probably weird, but. It's a very rigid opening. And I'm just like, oh, all right, we, we died. I had a good time. Did you guys have a good time? I've had a good time. I'm, oh, that would have been nice. But, you know. My name is Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the drum beat. Chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom. Chick, chicky, boom. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm in California dreaming of just how we used to be. I mean, you can say you can you can you can give me a greeting. I just feel awkward when it's just a rigid like hello. Because no one's going to say that in real life, right? No one says hello in real life, right? I mean, that sounds so weird to say, right? No one says hello in real life. But really, you don't really say hello that often. Hello. Like, it's just a real, like, it's a real formal, like, rigid greeting, right? You just it's hey, what's up? Yeah, totally lost is probably good. I don't know. This hand is... <laughs> Look at this freaking hand. Mulligan. Yeah, sure. I do say hello a lot. I it Really? It just takes... It sounds so long, right? What up, my main boy? All right, well, we'll see. If I see you again, Quacker, we're going to have... You're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I want you to say that to me. Greetings and salutations. Thank you. Oh my god, Sean Stoppable with the Prime sub. It's your boy Sean Mitchell. Oh, and Tano's just randomly shows up out of nowhere. 
man, things are getting serious in this chat. I don't care about that. I arrived. I have. This is good. This is good English you're doing here. All right, no third land. It's okay. Or one, no fourth land. It's okay. We, it's fine. Oh my god. Is there a... Is there heuristic studies in here? Oh my god, is this 2016 all over again? What even? Dude, Sam, long time no see, buddy. Oh my god, it's been a lifetime. Also, if you guys uh, if you guys don't follow uh, Rustic Studies on YouTube, you definitely should. His videos are exceptional. Don't you mean hello? <laughs> uh, Mike is... Yeah, oh, look, another... It's not a land, guys. It's okay. It's a pump spell for our creatures fantastic i want to take vengeance on this guy uh mike mike has disappeared into the aether he's become a creature of uh of the void now and sometimes he floats in and out of existence sometimes you'll see him uh it takes a lot of energy though to to materialize in the in the to, to become tangible you know wow <laughs> hello by me tanos <laughs> on point on point with the with the with the quotes buddy Oh god, what is happening in this match? I'm gonna dwindle this thing. Cause I can't hit a fourth land. Here goes a fourth land incoming. Well, I'm out of water, so I'm probably gonna take a break after this match to fill my water. And then we're gonna do some battle of wits. What's better to be a void walker or a planeswalker? This is the question we ask ourselves. I have one and a half hours. I really think, honestly, you know, I'm biased. I'm extremely biased on us. But I think you do. Especially because of that upcoming Microsoft stock. Okay, well, we'll get a fourth land eventually, right? Oh, the old, the old sorcery speed hired blade, eh? A classic. Hey, look at that. We did it. <laughs> All right. Well, it's got to be this guy, right? Odds this resolves? 100%. Okay. Oh, I see. Well, I'm going to dwindle that guy, too. I'm going to dwindle it all. Now, Thomas actually got outbid, like, almost within the same stream. And, um... I was a little bit disappointed. I thought he should have kept going. The thing is, like, it's an original painting. You only, There's only one. You know? You gotta get that Snipe account. Uh, actually, Quacker, sniping is still a form of bidding. Hmm. You know. Oh, that was a great draw. Sam, can you make a video real quick about the uh, the Thanos piece? So that we can talk about it? By Matt Stewart.
This is the uh, this is the piece that Thanos is considering bidding on, or has actually has bid on, and uh, got outbid yesterday, unfortunately. But why did we not attack there? I don't know. I feel like I clicked it, and then it didn't it didn't click. I did update my Twitter picture. <laughs> Okay, that <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Wow. That's amazing. If you win the painting, you should actually email Matt Stewart and be like, hey, can you alter this to just look like me? And he'll be like, no, no, I can't. I think we're going to win this game. Oh yeah, I can definitely see the resemblance, the master resemblance there. <laughs> oh man, good times. Oh, there also is a candelabra in the background of this, which is just fantastic. That's actually an awesome detail. Oh, yeah. We could play this guy. But, oh, God, is this is a second one? No. I will make you one of these. That guy's way too strong. But younger and more handsome. <laughs> Alright, so I think we're on the mill plan now. I melted it down. Okay, that's fair. I appreciate this insight into what you actually did. What, what your what your candelabra making process was. I see. I'm gonna be leaping here. Cause that should make it a two two, which is a good that's a good that's a reasonable blocker. Plus, we get to keep it for next turn. All right. That was nice. No lands? Dang. All right. Well. Thanos, when you literally own Thanos.com... I think you're actually being ridiculous for not for not like flat out just winning this this painting. Oh, you're going to bounce that oaken, oaken face. Hold on one second. Yeah, we're going to double block this thing. It's the only flyer on board, and then they have two creatures. We have two creatures. Totally fine. Oh, they didn't want to They didn't want to make that trade, I guess. Well, there's the sword. And our swampums. Shield Mare. Let's just play a uh, let's play shield mare. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I say whatever I have to lead you into fi financial ruin. Oh my god. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I can tell you some, some I can tell you some Tano stories. Going through six cards a turn? Alright, so they're basically dead on on board essentially. Whew. Please don't tell us. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Listen, buddy, if you have if you have the disposable income to spend on my ridiculous stream, then you can definitely bid on this painting of literally yourself and then host it on the literal domain name that you have uh knowing that you literally had the screen name for like 20 years so that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying also thank you so much dude obviously super appreciative as always and i have uh no idea how you exist in our real human being sometimes um yeah, Totally Lost seems pretty good. They have a bunch of uh a bunch of little little flipper dudes, little enchantment arenas. Tanos, you're ridiculous, dude. Also, that's fifty dollars that could have went toward that that painting, buddy. So if you lose by fifty dollars, I'm gonna refund you and get a hold of Matt Stewart and say, here's fifty extra dollars, just give it to Tanos. Sleep is weird in this deck because usually with sleep you want to just be able to sleep their guys and then attack them for the win twice. Um, this isn't really a deck that does that, and this isn't a deck that I really want to do that. I want to just win by milling them, and that sounds more fun to me. Um, so really, all sleep does is like a two-turn fog, which is not bad, but for four mana, it's really not the best. Eh, that's a pretty good draw. From what I know about Thanos, I can say uh, pretty confidently, though I could be wrong, that he he probably will be just fine if he bought this painting. Keep in mind that Thanos mentioned yesterday that he also gets, in August, an extra 102 shares of Microsoft. And shares of Microsoft are about uh, 100 and... What are they at now? MSFT share... Uh, $106. So just doing some quick math. 102 shares. It's actually, it's actually 10K, right? 109 shares. Was it 109? So, I, you know, that by itself is pretty good. That that would cover it by itself. And I was wrong. I actually undervalued. So an extra, I, I was $700 off. My bad. So... That's a little spider. Hey, Frank, you think it's okay to share financial investments with viewers making that they may have told you? Uh, did he tell me in confidence if he literally says it on the stream? Probably not. I would imagine that's not in confidence, right? Oh, okay. Big fan, big fan. I got, I got you. I got you, JK, JK. But no, actually, I was, I was reluctant to say that, but then I'm like, wait, he literally said it on the stream, so it'd be weird to, to feel weird about sharing that because... That's how I know. Can you buy on Amazon and move it out of Seattle? 
<laughs> oh, oh, this is actually a lot of eggs in one little one spidery basket. Give me that big Dwins. Nice 08. You should dump your entire savings into Dogecoin. <laughs> What's Dogecoin? Is that like Dogecoin or is that a different is that a different kind of coin? I'm unfamiliar with Dogecoin. Is that like a dodgeball based coin system? Sometimes I forget that you upload these to YouTube. That's fair. Tell you what, if you divulge anything super personal, I will I'll I'll try to remember to cut it out. I don't think yeah, but I don't think that um the Microsoft shares falls under that per se. I just want to hit a land. Now we can play probably just keep up Essence Scatter. If they play Poison Tip Archer, that's probably one of the biggest dudes I care about. God, this guy still has reach. Whatever, we'll deal one. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to figure out what Dogecoin is, man. That sounds really interesting. You know, if you can dodge coin a wrench, you can dodge coin a ball. That's what I always say. Yep, that's literally what we were saving this counter spell for. <laughs> Came for the jazz, stayed for the insider trading stream. BFC, thank you so much for the uh, four months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Almost 3,000 hours. That is a long time. And patient rebuilding. Thank you. <laughs> Thanos with the gifted sub. The oh man, I swear to God, if you don't win this painting, I'm gonna be I'm gonna rage at you. I'm gonna ban I'm gonna ban you from the channel if you don't win this painting. All right, I won't go that far. I'll understand if you don't. And I, also, I don't want to pressure you if you don't want to. If you don't really like want to spend the money, that's I don't want to pressure you because that's not cool. But I do feel like it would be a cool thing for you to have. And let's be real, you are probably the most appreciative person for it ever, so. I think we're just gonna win on double metrics here. We got the uh we got the floaters and we got the uh the millers. The floaters and the millers, that's what I always say. You guys remember that old that old timey battle, the floaters versus the millers? It's like a Hatfields and McCoys of of the magic decks. And we won the match. A very unsatisfying 1-2, I'll say. But either way, the chat got great, and uh, we had a good time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe button. Check me out on Patreon or Twitch. Links are in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.